right guys, it's the last day of my vacation. I'm feeling a little bit blue, but it sure has been awesome to wake up to this view every morning. And um, I couldn't let all this time up here go by and not film at least one video. So today I'm gonna share with you a little active recovery circuit that I've been working on for the past couple of days. It's a combination of mobility moves, yoga, and general stretching. It's ideal for the day after a hard workout when you should be resting, but you don't wanna do nothing. So it should help improve circulation, speed recovery, and hopefully alleviate some muscle soreness and stiffness so you can move better and feel better. Welcome to Short Circuits, let's get started. We're gonna start with feet together. We're gonna take some nice deep breaths in, taking the arms overhead. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. We've got two more of these, big inhale, stretch it up and exhale. And on this last one, we're gonna keep those arms up. We're gonna start mobility by stepping forward into a forward lunge, and then we're gonna take the arms towards that front leg. So here we go, we're gonna reach, come back in, and then we're gonna step to the side, and if you can, rotate down and reach the arm up. Side bend, back in, and reach, and up. Two more. And last one. And then we're gonna change sides. So stepping forward, side bend, and reach, and up. Side bend, in, lateral lunge, and up. Two more. And last one. Reach and up. We're gonna bring the arms down. We're gonna step into a reverse lunge. Bring the hands down to the floor and then you're gonna come right into plank. You're gonna bring one foot up into a lunge, drop the back knee, back to a plank, changing sides and back. And this time we're gonna step the foot in and you're gonna stand up on one leg. We're gonna work a little bit on balance here, bringing the knee up. Then from here, we're gonna flex the foot, place it on top of the knee, and then bring the palms together in prayer. See if you can squat down a little bit deeper, stretching into the glute. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're reaching back into a strong plank, foot forward, knee down, other side, and then same thing coming up, balancing. Lift the knee, then flex the foot, open up that knee, palms together in prayer and sink down. Let's do it a couple more times. You're gonna reach back, foot forward, change sides, and then coming up slowly, Flex and sink. And last one, reach back, foot forward, plank, foot forward, and plank, stepping up, balancing, flex, and sit down. Beautiful, step those legs a little further apart. We're gonna squat down, hands come down to the ground, and then you're gonna jump back or step back into plank. You're gonna walk the hands in towards the feet into a hip hinge, and then walk the hands forward. Plank. We're gonna keep going with this. Beautiful, A little bit of shoulder mobility here. And we've got one more. And we're in a strong plank. Now from here, we are gonna do a Spider-Man push-up. So we're gonna come into that Spider-Man on one side. Press back into down dog. You're gonna lift the same leg that you stepped forward with overhead. And you're gonna bend the knee and open up through the hip. See if you can look at the sky at the ceiling under your arm. 
and then we're gonna bring it back down. Same thing on the other side. Spider-Man push up, down dog, lift, bend, and open. And here we go again, Spider-Man, down dog, lift, bend, open. And Spider-Man, down dog, lift, bend, open. And there's gonna be a slight change on this next one. We're doing our Spider-Man, down dog. You're gonna lift that leg up. This time you're gonna pull the knee through and step in to high plank. You're gonna inhale into crescent lunge. So really engage that back thigh. Lift it up, nice and tight. You're on your toes. And then you're gonna lower your heel down on the back foot and turn that foot out so that it's open. And then we're gonna square the hips and shoulders and we're in warrior one. From here, we're gonna open up into warrior two. So really engage the shoulders, pulling them together. Arms are tight, abs are engaged, pelvis is tucked under. And then from here, you're gonna straighten up that front leg, prepare for triangle. So you're gonna lean forward, push that hip back, and come down as far as works for you. Maybe it's all the way down to the floor, maybe it's halfway up your shin. See if you can look up at that top hand. Then we're gonna bend the front knee again, come into warrior two. Adjust, then you're gonna cartwheel those hands all the way down. Come back into plank, come back into down dog. And then from here, we're gonna do a Spider-Man on the other side. Down dog, lift that leg up. Pull the knee forward and in between the hands. Lift up into high lunge or crescent. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Heel down, foot opens. Square the hips and the shoulders, warrior one. Open up to warrior two. Tuck the pelvis under, open up that knee. Straighten the front leg. Triangle, so reaching and pushing the hip away at the same time. Hand comes down. Looking up. Bending the front knee, coming back into warrior two. Cartwheeling the hands down, coming into plank. And then you can step or jump. If you're gonna jump, you're gonna bend back, look forward and try to land softly between those hands. We're gonna forward fold right here. So tucking that head in. Then hands come to the shins. We're coming up halfway, eyes down. Forward fold one more time. And then inhale the arms up. Palms together, coming down to heart. All right, so that is our mobility and yoga. Now we're gonna do a little general stretching. So I'm gonna bring my towel over for when I'm coming down to the floor. But first of all, we're gonna start with a standing quad stretch. So you're gonna hold on to your ankle, bring the knees together, squeeze your glute on that side, and try to pull, pull your thigh forward while you're holding your foot in place. And we could stay right here. If you wanna make it a little bit more intense, we can take it into a dancer's pose. So reaching the arm forward and hip hinging, kicking that foot into the hand, reaching forward. Lots of balance here. And then coming up slowly, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So reaching for the ankle, 
squeezing the glute, pulling that thigh forward while you're holding that foot in place and staying here or making it a little bit bigger, kicking back into the hand, reaching forward and lifting. And release. All right, we're gonna take it down to the floor now. So it's rather wet today, it's been raining a lot, which is why I've probably waited till the last day to film. Anyway, we're gonna start by lifting the butt off the floor, hands are slightly behind. You're gonna lift one foot up, cross it over, sit back down, and then you're just gonna adjust to wherever feels good for you or just a little bit not good. You're gonna try to open up that knee, flex the foot, and scooch yourself as close as you can. Big glute stretch here. Try to keep your shoulders away from the ears, your spine long. Then we're gonna lift up again, we're gonna uncross, crossing the other foot on top, sitting down, readjusting. Flex that foot, open up the knee. Adjust your back so it's nice and long. You're lifting up right through the crown of the head. And then lift up, uncross and release. All right, so we're gonna take it all the way down. Hug both knees in. Then you're gonna release one leg all the way out onto the floor, flex the foot. Continue to hold this knee with the opposite hand, same arm out to the side. We're gonna do a cross the body stretch. Looking at that extended hand, trying to relax, keeping the shoulders on the ground. Then bring it back up to center. We're gonna extend that leg, either point or flex the foot, walk your hands all the way up to the ankle if you can or wherever, as far as you can reach. Pull the shoulders down. And then continue to hold the, the leg with the opposite hand, same arm out. We're gonna take it across a little bit. So still feeling this in the glute. And then we're gonna bring it back up. We're gonna switch hands. Open up only as far as both hips remain on the ground. Flex the foot, and don't forget about the other foot on the ground. It's very easy to let it go. You wanna engage. And then bring that leg back up. Knee in, other knee comes in. We're switch, switching sides now, so take that leg all the way out. Flex the foot, and we're gonna do the across the body stretch. So opposite hand, reaching out. Looking at the extended arm. Bringing it back in. Taking that leg up and either pointing or flexing, walking the hands up, shoulders down. Don't forget about the leg that's on the floor. Flex it, opposite hand holds on. Bringing it across just a little bit. Big hamstring stretch as well. Bringing it through the center, changing sides. Remember both hips need to stay down. And then 
back in, pull that knee in, both knees in. I'm gonna rock myself up and then I'm just gonna turn over onto my belly. So I'm gonna stretch out the front of the body a little bit by being on my elbows. So think about lengthening through your spine, right through the base of your skull. Your neck should be an extension of that spine. Just opening up through the chest and the shoulders. And you can stay here or you can take it into boat pose, which is where I'm gonna finish. Coming all the way down, reaching for one ankle, then the other. Knees close together, feet close together. I'm gonna take a nice big inhale, and as I exhale, I'm gonna lift up. Eyes gaze down, opening up the shoulders and the chest, working the back of the body. Let's see if you can lift up just a little bit higher. And release. And push up into tabletop on your knees. And open those knees nice and wide, big toes together. Walk the arms forward. Bring the forehead all the way down to the floor if you can manage. Child's pose. And then from here, we're gonna push up into down, downward facing dog one last time. And this time we're gonna walk the dog. So side to side. And I'm gonna continue to walk the dog all the way in. I'm gonna stay here. I'm just gonna hold on to my elbows. Just relax my head, relax my shoulders. Everything's lengthening out in the back of the legs, back of the neck. And then release and inhale those arms back up. And bring the hands together and bring it all the way down. So that's the circuit. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm certainly feeling a lot looser. I feel like I will be moving a lot better today. So um, I'm grateful for that. And if you are too, make sure you click the like button and you share. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Short Circuits. Please subscribe. New workouts are posted on Mondays. And until next time, take care of you, be healthy, be happy, and get sweaty.